So geeks, remember, the trick to BDSM is to have your latex game on point and always, I mean always, have a safe word. Betty, it's not BDSM, it's DBMS, Database Management System, not BDSM. Oh, well, this episode just became way less fun. Okay, whereas the BDSM expert just wants to tie up loose ends. Betty. The DBMS expert wants to control the interaction between applications and a database in a chilled way. But I don't want to cause any unnecessary confusion. Sean can do that better. Well, folks, it turns out that big data and machine learning are not just buzzwords, and that means database management systems are a lot like fidget spinners in 2017. Everybody wants one, but not everyone knows why. If you're looking for DBMS solutions for your environment, we've got some key considerations that you need to take into account when deciding on one. Data model. For a long time, the relational concept ruled all database concepts, but it's time as the only meaningful option has passed. In recent times, no SQL databases have arisen as challenges to the database throne. To decide which model will work for you, you need to decide, do you have data that can easily be reflected in a relational model, or do you need to work with unstructured data? How do you plan to retrieve and work with the data? For example, analysis of hierarchical data in sequential files is way faster in a no SQL database than it is in a relational one. Since relational databases have a longer history, you'll find that there are more commercially available relational database management systems out there, while no SQL databases are often available as open source. Data consistency. Nowadays, you probably need to get data from multiple external sources into your database. For example, you might get customer data from a CRM system, product data from another database, and transactional data from another external source. Keeping data consistent becomes even more important the more sources that feed into your database. Therefore, consistency rules are vital, and defining them should become a major deciding factor when considering a DBMS. Data availability. For most companies, data availability is a key business success factor and needs to be guaranteed at all times. The ability to back up and restore a database is essential. IT administrators need to ensure as little downtime as possible. Data protection. Every DBMS provides methods of protecting the data through encryption, but the ability to define routines and access rights is different for every system. The method of data protection depends on your data structure and should be carefully considered during the evaluation process. Multi-access. The DBMS needs to allow concurrent access by multiple users. This means you need to consider the DBMS's philosophy for things like simultaneous write queries. For example, what is the isolation level of the database? The isolation level defines how to handle read-write and write-write conflicts. Isolation levels are serializable, repeatable reads, read-committed, and read-uncommitted. Each one affects how concurrent queries are handled, and you need to understand which one is suitable for your requirements, and also what isolation levels are supported by which DBMS. On-premises versus hosted. With the advent of cloud-based services like Amazon Web Services and Azure, a big decision you'll face is whether to host the database on-premises or in the cloud. This decision will be based on how much data you have to store, the response times you expect, and so on. Depending on your own IT infrastructure, a cloud-based service might bring disadvantages because you're relying on the network services and latencies of the service provider. On the other hand, cloud computing can provide you with more and better resources than your on-premises infrastructure and can be more scalable. Usability. Different users will be using your DBMS. There'll be administrators, IT and DB admins, application integrators, data consumers, and all these users need an easily understandable query language and an intuitive UI to work. Implementation and service costs. How much you will need to modify the solution and the availability of support and documentation must be taken into consideration. Development must always be considered because you will need to adapt the product to your individual needs. A clear overview of these needs will help you choose the right tool. Vendor or community support and comprehensive documentation will save you time and money. Use these key considerations to document your own list of requirements and compare the DBMSs that are available on the market. And don't forget to have fun with it. So Betty, hopefully you'll never confuse BDSM and DBMS again. Betty? Uh, I guess this is where we always say subscribe to our channel.